Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to episode 60 of our Ethiopian Union campaign in Supreme Lord 2020. Uh, last time we started work on some pieces of southern Namibia here, uh, mainly doing this just so that we can um, go ahead and take, uh, what is this, Luderitz down here. That should give us plenty of supply to be able to start a uh, campaign to kind of get down up into here in a uh, southwest, you know, well, western and southwestern uh, South Africa down here. Uh, that would be a key jump start area because they have a lot of their land fabrication down here. Uh, looks like roughly five of their uh, land fabrication facilities are there with only two. Let's see what else is up here. Three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so I'll cut their land fabrication in half. It looks like because yeah, they don't have anything else. I don't think. Yeah, so we'll, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, get units down here, take that town, and um, take it, of course. Let's see here. I am moving some units down from uh, that were working on the uh, assault on Tanzania, but of course Tanzania has fallen back to Zanzibar, so there's nothing I can do to really get that going there. Some units down there, though, just in case uh, Mozambique or even uh, Malawi here wanted to start up. But I don't really have too many, you know, too much of a threat there, in my opinion. If anything, they did, they just gave me a whole other front to open up here. All right. Uh, darn it, I don't have enough forces right yet to start it. I mean, I guess I can try these guys at it, but I just, I don't think they're going to get there to... I don't think they're going to get where I need them to go. And yeah, they're going to cut through bad areas as well. Ugh. That won't be good. And of course, supply is not really going to flow through here very well. It's almost like we need to take this over here too and start letting that fall apart but I don't, I don't think that's smart to go rushing in that direction right now I need to have these uh, have supply drops going is probably what I need to be doing got a whole bunch of units over here oh here's a whole bunch of guys looks like they don't really know what they want to do right now that's all right I don't think it matters through here. Supply wouldn't really reach anyway. Well, the battle's on at least. Uh, how many? How much fuel does this guy have? 140. Yeah, not quite enough. Just try to keep him going. Try to keep up a steady amount of uh, units going in that direction. Once it falls, this whole area gets just in inundated and inundated with our. Uh, with our supply, so that's why we definitely want it. See, these guys are all going to work their way there. Would have much rather preferred that these guys uh, come along this way where they keep most of their supply. Well, at least we're down to two. One and a half, really. There you go. Come on. Keep it, keep it running. These tanks are stuck out here for now. Good news is this is also an airfield and it's a sea pier. Uh, Lots of supply going to come into this place. And these guys out here working on Botswana. I really don't want them doing that. Um, that's going to open up a front here as well. I mean, the good news is that once if they were to take all these forces here and push through, they get stuck out here in the desert for a while. Which would let me attack all this area down here much easier. Since they can't, you know, come do anything. Up oh, there it goes, actually. We just took Luderitz. Maybe they'll send a little force up from here to come challenge that. Supply should start getting easier in this area. Key is going to be to get here. And get over here and take around this a little bit. Might be smart to go all the way around and then chisel off some of this over time until you get really close on it. I think that might be the better move if the supply can even handle that. Let's 
Let's see. Uppington is 60,000 people. Do I think it can make it? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, there's more troops coming. Uh. Well, let's try these guys out. Uh, well, actually, no. Everybody here needs to go ahead and repair. Just like everybody over here. Actually, everybody all up through here needs to repair. Yeah, these units here will be just fine. Supply is going to really start reaching. You can see where supply is kind of trying to get around the corner here from up here. Yeah, airfields do, uh, they are wonderful for this kind of stuff. Let's kind of hold these forces here. I'm going to get about five and five and hold them here on this bridge. And bring about five and five over here and hold that. I think that'd be good for just a start. Let the supply build up behind them. The supply won't be able to cross these rivers very well. One, two, three, four, five. That's already good. Um, let me take one, two, three, four, five over here. You're going to get on that spot for me. These guys. Oh, one. Two. Whoops. Three. Four, five. I well, no, I think I just miscounted. That's three, four. Okay. I miscounted. I got a little too excited. That's all right. Um, you, I want you to bring it on down here. You, I want you to come down to here. So that's one tank. That's just an AMX. I don't really want to use AMXs if I don't have to. Here's three. We're going to send them down to here. And then there's this guy. We're going to bring him down to right here as well. Okay, I think we're fine. We'll just let them get a little packed together. These guys are already going to work on that for us. And we'll be good. All right. Yeah, just fighting a few little engineers. No big deal through here. It's all no supply and stuff like that anyway. We did get rid of all of our artillery, so up here where we're fighting Jordan, or well, really Egypt and Jordan, we're kind of just in a hold. I mean, we don't have any artillery. When I start getting more of it, though, I'm going to start putting them here. That way they can defend both approaches. There's that bridge there. That bridge is fine, too. But I'm really not really all that worried about uh, that stuff. Hopefully the middle pieces of our country will start building up some forces as well that you know don't get used in battle. That'd be really nice. Okay, here's these five. Okay, this guy is coming to respond down here. These guys are the ones coming over there to them. Won't be long before they get some supply to them, though. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Biggest thing is reaching here. That'll take out supply across this whole... Well, pretty much from here through here a little bit onward over to here will actually be down. That's what I'm. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. All right. Yeah. See how this supply is already reaching around here, pushing it forward through here as well. They're going to connect up supply through here, but really well. And there goes some of our forces that are just sitting around here doing nothing. Yeah, we can overwhelm them. I think the MI2 box car is worse than the Puma. Let me check on that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see if I... 
thought I might remember buying the MI2. I guess I didn't. I guess I had to look over it with Germany here. Just didn't Germany create that? Oh wow, Germany's really small right now. Um, but oh, the boxcar MRAV. Okay. Who's got uh? Besides for them down there, who? What does these guys have? What do the U.S. have? Laugh five A's. That was would be wonderful to have. Um. 27, 24, 20, 20 versus our 31, 26, 25, 29. Yeah, we still have a much better unit, I think, overall. What about tanks? Let's come. I know they're they got GMT Storm Hunters. 55, 85, 38. Yeah, they've really got the advantage there. Um, what about anti-tank? They're using the Rattel 30 and 18. 51 and 24, so we've got the better anti-tank. Artillery, they probably got the better one on that. 24, 19, 20 versus their 42, 32, 42, yeah. Air defense, 64, 32. Oh yeah, we're much better there. We are using S-400s, I kinda have to expect that we would be better in that department. All right, this is almost in place, and we'll go ahead and get ready to start moving them down further. And get these guys to do me a little bit of a favor and knock that out. One, two, three, four. Is this all five of my units? Yes, it is. Okay. Go to there. Here are these ten. We're going to bring them all the way down here. This area is already had the supply expand into it pretty well. So I'm not really worried about it. And supply is moving up and down this road really well already. This area will be a pretty good zone for supply before long. I wait on this guy to decide he's gonna catch up. Probably going to take these guys who are forming up here, all ten of them, to there. Yeah, they'll run out of fuel on the way. That's good, because that's what we want them to do. Oh, well, not quite so soon, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and entrench there. We'll take these ten. I'm going to bring them down to here and entrench. I want to stop them from crossing here. Which really shouldn't be all that difficult. Uh, I think we'll be able to keep our supply for these guys. And they'll probably be like my northern force. Their whole point is just to kind of slowly work down this with the supply that we can do. Oh, knocking that tank around. The TA-041. There we go. Hold out here. Entrench. It's not the bridge, but it's enough of the spot on the other side of the bridge, actually. So supply here will start to eke out into their territory before long. We control the bridgehead. That's the key. Um, our unit should be able to cross pretty well. Let's see. Are they going to get stuck behind them? If they are, yeah, I think they will. I'd I'll wait till supply gets going, though, before I move them a little bit forward. Or off to the side, or whatever I plan to do. And supply's starting to reach here. We'll wait till they all get here and they look nice and calm. Get a full tank of gas as well, would be smart. And we'll move them all the way down to here at Uppington. Another supply ramp through here to actually probably increase supply across this whole uh, piece here north of the river. We really want to push this. There they go. Guess we can get some units to go across if we needed them. 
Yep, there these guys are moving in. Let's see, tanks are at 100. Pumas are at 52. So they're both about a quarter to a fifth of the way done. Yep, there they go. Go ahead and slide on in there, guys. You guys can start taking some of this land for us. Let's see, this guy here is at 180. At 200, yeah, it's going pretty quick, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and start kind of clearing the way a little bit. I right, work together. Yeah, see, they're trying to respond to all this, too. That's just not smart. There we go. Knock out them boxcars. Let's take these guys on. There we go. Hold the spot. Supply should reach out from there, and we should see some supply diminish around here as well. Plenty of guys starting to go south now through here. Um, I really am worried about it, though, because the nearest barracks is way up here. I think I would rather uh, cut down through here. Grab some of this stuff because it's more supply. Even though it is harder to defend that. And then take this spot. Yeah, taking British drop would probably be better. Just because once you get past our artillery, get in here, you now have barracks. And you're close enough to Cape Town to really give it a go. Yeah, South Africa is going to be the tough nut to crack here. Just a lack of barracks, a lack of facilities for us to use. Kind of have to expect that, though. Let's see. Let me look at this place. Kimberly's 199. So that would be a pretty good spot to actually make a defense area. It's right on a river. Just kind of like how this place is. It's on a river, so it means they got to cross a river so no tanks can do it. Uh, we could do it there. Uh, yeah, Blomenfontein would be a good one as well. I mean, there's just no barracks through here. That's the... I mean, I could build a barracks, I know, but... Not really interested in building it. We'll be okay. Huh. So, interesting fact about South, South Africa. Um, it is the only... It is the only nation to willingly give up its nuclear arsenal. Uh, South Africa, believe it or not, is the only nation in Africa that is known to have a nuclear program. And it had it in the uh, 70s and through the 80s. It only had six uh, bombs. They were like Hiroshima-sized bombs. So they weren't like, we're not talking tactical warheads or anything. But they were a deterrent because at the time, uh, the U.S. and Russia, they were trying to, you know, they were trying to dig in everywhere they could on the African continent through little wars and, you know, little proxy wars and stuff like that. And South, Af you know, the it was the white government underneath South Africa. For those who don't know, South Africa used to be uh, extremely, extremely racist. And I think today it kind of still is. Um, back then there was a white government and they held a policy called apartheid. Uh, that is where they, uh, they kind of, you know, all the businesses, all the uh, freedoms were held by white people. And uh, didn't really have, you know, didn't really have that among people uh, of color in uh, South Africa at the time. So uh, one way to keep South, Af you know, keep the white power and all that in South Africa was to, uh, you know, spend that, you know, they would have said, OK, we'll get a nuclear program. And, they, and most people think that they worked with. Uh, that they worked with Israel for, and they think that they actually tested uh, nuclear bombs down here on this island. Uh, I believe it's that island, or it could be one that we don't see on this map, like in here. Could have been one of these, actually. France owns that one. Australia owns that one. I don't know. It's it's some island down here that they think that they uh, tested one. And the first test, they say, was South Africa's, and the second one was, uh, they think it's Israel's. And, you know, we all think that Israel has a couple, you know, a couple hundred nukes possible, which, you know, I don't put it past Israel to have nukes, and they haven't used them, so, I mean, you can't really say anything bad about that. They're just a deterrent. 
you know, don't don't come at us, you don't know what we have, you know, type of deal. But um that's kind of what's going on with that was kind of what was going on at the time and uh prior to apartheid ending in like uh I want to say 92 is when apartheid ended uh and back in 1989 uh they just decided, "Hey, we're going to give up our uh we're going to give up our nukes." So that's what they did. They gave up their nu uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, and we say gave it up. They didn't like just hand it over to somebody. They completely de they destroyed them. They got rid of them. You know, they didn't blow them up or nothing. They just de-armed. Which is pretty cool of them. I have to say, that's one of my one of another reasons I really like South Africa. And I would love to go there. Um, it's probably one of the only nations outside the United States that I would really consider consider wanting to move to, especially I'd love to move down to like Cape Town here. It's just really beautiful down there, and it, the weather's pretty nice too. Um, there are some racial problems down there, and I get that, uh, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to let that destroy the entire image of the place, for me at least. So I want to, you know, just one of those things, I would love to visit there. I'm pretty sure it's like an 18-hour flight down there, but still, it'd be kind of cool. Um, let's move these guys down a little bit further. Heck, it might be a force like this that kind of crowds around the side. Not like I really have a whole lot of supply running that far, though. Well, maybe I do. I got 28%. North of the bridge, it's 38%. Uh, this one here. Let's go to the bridge. Up, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Enter, enter right here. We'll take care of you. Be real nice to you. All right. Um, we're gonna be in like we're gonna be in their artillery zone before long, and I don't have these guys yet taken. To you know, have like a nice little okay. That's your, there's your supply barrier type zone. Come on, right here, entrench and hold. Not bad. Um, we're gonna move here because that would be a great spot to take advantage of the supply, and it's on the road. We're going to kind of have like some little bush fighting wars through here. Looks like we are going a little bit after Botswana to the north. I'm not really interested in going after that. Okay, let's go to here. And hold. Let the supply build out a little bit more. We are just taking away supply from places too. So that's good. Yeah, I think I might go for Kimberly. That way if they do take this uh, Uppington place from us. Because they can just travel here to get there. Hopefully they won't, but they could. And we may not have time to stop them. We're fighting a weird war out here. Let's see, uh, am I getting supply there yet? Only 2%. Of course, it is safe to kind of go all the way to here. You know, it, we will just need the supply, you know, to get the supply network running to it. But I mean, I might do that. I might, no, I'll move down here first. We won't take it too big. I'm, I've been trying to take off too many, uh, too big a chunks in the past, and it's not working for us. At least not long term, or not short term, excuse me. Long term, everything's been working out, obviously. I think I might start heading for, yeah, Saldana. They might come after that with whatever units they have here. I don't really see any. Yeah, they don't have any units down here to send after me. They've probably been sending them all north to stop us, and they just haven't been able to stop us. Oh well, can't be too careful about this. I'm going to get... I'd love it if I had more units pressing around us. They're kind of playing out here in the middle. 
as it stands. Oh, there's something here. He's going to cut us off if somebody doesn't get over there and do something about him. Okay, hit that guy's going to. And there's a few more units coming down too, I think. Up here comes a box car. There went, goes a box car. And there goes that storm hunter there. Uh, still not safe to really move, even though I want to. Let's go ahead and send this guy around. Trying to keep out of the artillery range to take this place. Take it, that should pump some supply into our region. You know, our southern corridor down here. Good lord, that artillery is already reaching us. We'll probably come back up here, get the supply, let that area supply up a bit, and just run a tank in there and then try to run him back out and hope that the supply keeps pushing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Come on, guys, get in there. Trench and hold. There you go. Perfect. Not bad. I think they should hold out pretty well through here. There's probably going to be a few guys that uh, venture down here and knock them out for us. Supply is going to keep up and keep working, I think. These guys are perfect on supply. Let's go ahead and try to send this guy there. This guy's going to be my test subject. Please run, like, fast. We've got two on us. Going through our, get our fuel right now to get there. Let's take the town. I'll run back. No need to do anything else. <laughs> yep, they have plenty of artillery here eyeing us up. Oh, come on. A little bit of supply popping out from there would be nice. I got 4%, and he stopped. No. Yeah, go north. Get out of there. Oh, he may end up really hurt. 4%, 5%. Partially suppressed. If I can get this here, he's still at 4%. I need you higher, guy. I need you to pump out more supply now. Come on. Give me like 5%. Go, 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 go. Get a little bit further north. Get away from some of these guys. Okay, at least that's given, that gave up some. But we're gonna build up some supply in there. Might have to send some units down here just to kind of knock these guys out and come back and lick our wounds. Try again later. Okay, keep pushing. I wonder how smart it would be to go ahead and take this bridge co crossing right here. Probably not very. There he is. We're going to go ahead and send him back to repair. We're going to go ahead and grab another tank from up here that's just kind of palling around doing nothing. Come join these forces. There we go. I've, I went ahead and grabbed one off. He should be moving in there pretty before long. Uh, these guys are playing with Botswana. I wish they wouldn't. Nothing can be done about that. I can't do anything about Zanzibar just quite yet. I have a plan. But it's going to have to wait until I get a few more techs done. Which, I mean, we're going to have to wait for these guys too. So, um, I may have to do some just plain old airborne units and hope they're enough. But uh, hopefully I won't have to do that. I guess I can go ahead and start with those guys though. Let's pick these guys here. Uh, let's go ahead and pick... 
I want two airborne units at a time going. Um, and then where is a... Uh, there's an aircraft facility. Let's see what this aircraft facility can pump out for us in the transport department. NC-1Ls can carry how many? 189, 77, 62, 76, 33, 72, 60. I'm going to put them pumping out some of these NC-1Ls. Um, looking at this design, these guys weigh how much? Do, 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 do. Where is their where is their size? Fifty four. So they can carry three air, airborne units to their target. So maybe we can use that to uh, try to break in here or something. It's going to take quite a few NC one Ls though to carry as many troops as I'll need for these attacks. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to go end it right here. Um, I think we have uh, everything under control. Uh, plenty of forces moving around doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, alright guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time.